Hello. I only have time to make a quick video just now, um, and I would just like to say a few things which I've made notes for. Um, I don't have time to edit together a proper video in the way I normally like to. Um, I managed to see the Ken Ham Bill Nye debate live after all. Um, luckily for me, my shift pattern was changed, so um, I was able to watch it in full. Um, so people have asked me to make a few comments about the debate, so um, a couple of things I would like to mention. Um, the moderation seemed pretty fair. Um, there seemed to be, before the thing started, people seemed to think that um, there would be unfair editing or the live feed would drop out um, or something like that. That didn't happen. Um, and I think overall, um, the whoever put the debate together, you know, Answers in Genesis, did a reasonable job of that. Um, and as far as I know, the debate is still available to watch free, which is another thing I didn't think would happen. I thought that you would be able to watch it live and then you couldn't watch it afterwards without buying it. But it does seem to be available. Um, while I was watching it, there seemed to be about half a million people watching, and I've heard elsewhere that about five million have seen it. So. Ken Ham certainly has got quite a bit of publicity. Um, I don't think a lot of it's very positive publicity, but uh, time time will tell. Um, I actually have my own copy saved on a hard drive, um, which if and when I have time I would like to go over some of what was said in the debate in a little bit more detail. Um, I think Bill Nye did a very good job. Um, a lot of people doubted that he was the right man for, for the job, but um, he certainly brought up a lot of points which I wouldn't have thought of. I, you know, when I'm not scripted, as in at the moment, I don't always find it that easy to put my thoughts into words. But I think um, Bill Nye is, was, is, was, is good at thinking on his feet. Um, I think Ken Ham did reasonably well in terms of presenting his prepared material. He had good slides, um, and for a young Earth creationist, I think he would have presented a pretty convincing argument. But as as the debate went on and the questions from the moderator, um, from the audience through the moderator came through, um, I think he sort of relapsed into set answers, um, which quite often didn't really address the question. Um, this is where I think Bill Nye really shone through. Um, why? Because I think Bill Nye has the truth on his side, basically. Um, yeah, basically I don't think Ken Ham brought up anything new. I've listened to, um, you know, a lot of Ken Ham's material and read quite a lot of his website and been listening to creationists, young earth creationists, I must point that out, that there is a difference between young earth and old earth creationists, and I have much more of an argument with the young earth variety than the old earth variety. So I didn't hear anything new um, when I listened to Ken Ham, but listening to Bill Nye I did hear um, quite a few things I certainly wouldn't have thought about. Um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, again, Ken Ham brought up repeatedly the sort of were you there arguments when he's talking about how we know what we know about the age of the universe and how life has developed and evolved over time. Um, were you there? It seems a little bit silly that he would say that because um, anybody can ask Ken Ham, well, were you there? when the original authors wrote what they wrote in what we now know of as the Bible? And the obvious answer is no, so um, it really does come down to faith, um, which science doesn't. Science doesn't come down to faith, no matter how much these young earth creationists say, oh, you have faith in science, that's bullshit. Um, we have confidence in the validity of the scientific method. The scientific method is a process for studying reality and trying to figure out how things work. And um, I was also pleased to see that a number of times, um, or certainly a couple of times, Bill Nye said, I don't know, you know, such as 
how did life first emerge from non-life? Um, and that shows honesty, uh, and obviously honesty and integrity are something I admire. Um, and it's, you know, it's so much more honest than the, you know, relying on faith and believing that a particular book is what it claims to be, you know, the Bible. Um, so yeah, biblical authority is something Kenham keeps bringing up, um, and it really, to me, it's, it's, it's a non-argument. I'd certainly like to cover that in more detail in future videos. Um, it, it wasn't a scientific debate. Um, people like Richard Dawkins complained in advance that, um, you know, somebody like Bill Nye shouldn't do, even do this. Um, because it's not a question which scientists are even thinking about whether evolution itself is valid or not. There are details within evolution which um, are still being discussed. But the whole thing itself, you know, if you can find a flaw in some part of evolutionary theory, that doesn't discount the whole thing. So it never was a scientific debate. Um, Bill Nye went in, in his own words, as a reasonable man, and I think that's a very fair assessment of what happened. Um, and I don't think Ken Ham is a particularly reasonable man. Um, I would also like to say a huge thank you to all my new subscribers. The numbers have gone up drast dramatically, um, and the view count of one particular video I made over half a year ago, long before I heard that uh, Bill Nye and Ken Ham were actually going to do a debate, I made a video about what Ken Ham was saying about Bill Nye and how I didn't think it was accurate or fair. Um, the view count on that video has shot up to make it now my second most watched video, so thank you very much to everyone who has commented positively on that, and, and the ones who've commented negatively. Um, I don't have time at the moment to address uh, a fraction of these comments fully, so I apologise. Um, if anybody has some, if anybody has put a comment which I may have missed, which they actually asked me something where they wanted a reply and I haven't seen it, um, best way to get the message through is either send a private message or put a message on my channel, and I will try to address it. I, I try to address all questions, but unfortunately, with the volume of stuff coming in now, it's not possible. Um, my, the next video I'm planning to make is going to be about tree growth rings. The, the, the sort of working title I have is How We Know That The Earth Is More Than 6,000 Years Old, and it will be addressed primarily at Young Earth Creationists, um, and we'll be studying these things, tree growth rings, um, and a few other methods where we can say with a very high degree of certainty that the Earth is definitely more than 6,000 years old. And from that we can infer that Ken Ham's um, interpretation of the Bible is wrong, or the Bible itself is wrong. Um, but, as I keep wanting to point out, there are millions of Christians um, and people from other religions who do accept the scientific findings about the age of the universe and the earth. Um, so, that's all I'm going to say for now. Thank you for watching, and um, hopefully my next video will be slightly better prepared than this one. Thanks again. One more thing I wanted to say, uh, just in general, about Ken Ham, is um, if he changed the name of his creation museum to something like um, Biblical Mythology Theme Park, of Kentucky, or some, something like that, which was more, which more honestly represented what the place actually was, I would have a lot less of a problem with him. And if he also refrained from uh, imposing his pseudoscience on, on people, um, there is a big difference between science, which is unbiased, i.e. it doesn't put the Bible first, um, it puts reality first. Um, if he, you know, kept if kept his proselytizing to, uh, you know, what he believed about the Bible and on his website and in his facility, which Bill Nye 
kept referring to it as, which is, um, I think, a lot more accurate than museum, creation museum, um, I really wouldn't have a problem. You know, if he, on, on all of the placards, changed them to, uh, you know, we Christians believe so-and-so. Um, we believe that uh, Jesus Christ was part of God and that he died to save us from our sins and all that, but, you know, make it clear that um, this is what you believe um, and don't confuse it with what you claim to know. Um, that's all I want to say about that just now, so thanks again.